Virgo. What's going on, Virgo? It's Deb with Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I hope that you are doing well and I hope that this reading finds you safe. Shout out to my Soul Tribe members that have been showing love to you, girl. I appreciate the love and support. Okay, Virgo. So let's see what is going on with the Top Soil Tuesdays this week, okay? <laughs> let's see what's going on this week for you. Looks like you're going to be blossoming, number 33, okay? It looks like um, whatever it is that you're growing is going to be blossoming quite beautifully, okay? <laughs> That's nice to know. I don't know exactly what it is that you're putting work into or if you're just gardening. You could just simply be gardening and you might be um, going to, you know, have a nice little harvest once you get your fruit in or whatever it is that you are growing, right? But let's see what the comedic has to say about this uh, blossoming energy that's coming in for you this week. Un. So you're gonna have to take. You're gonna have to take some risk, okay? So there's gonna be some things that are going to come before you that are going to seem quite risky or like you're 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 making a, a choice that might be a little bit on the uncomfortable side that's the best way i can put it but yeah see the ten of unks just came out so i feel like if you make the right choice it's going to actually profit you quite well this is crazy let's see yeah so you got the ten of unks right here this is everything that you could ask for when it comes to love and a family home and a family dynamic with children just being able to know that you got somewhere that you can call home and come to right being able to have a true connection and see eye to eye with your partner and be able to not always have arguments, but come to a equal understanding, an equal ground. But see, there's the Two of Swords energy here. So with the Two of Swords energy, this means that someone is refusing to see something or someone sees something, but they refuse to do anything about it. Then we have Bass, right? And this can indicate that someone is being protected at all times they have like this hedge of protection around them and this whoever this person is might be surrounded by a lot of greedy people or people that are very selfish and all they care about is themselves they don't really want to look out for or help others so i feel like this person that's being protected and it might be you virgo okay because i'm feeling like my the people that watch for me they you know are evolving so you probably are the one that is protected and you're kind of looking beyond where it is that you're at you might live like in a high rise or something like that and you look out your window sometimes and you wonder where is your next stop maybe you want to move somewhere you want to travel but wherever it is you're going to go is going to be successful okay let's see but it might at first seem a little, you might be a little reluctant, okay? What's the 10 unks? Yeah, the goddess of war is here. So it's time for you to use that fierce strength that is within yourself to be able to push forward and be able to manifest this, the 10 of unks. What's the two of unks? Tahuti. So I feel like you want some type of commitment, okay? You probably either you want some type of commitment or someone else might. Maybe a Taurus wants some commitment with you, Virgo. 
But if not, it could be that you're just establishing laws within yourself. I mean, Tahuti is the record keeper. So whatever it is that you're choosing to do, it's like you're making a contract up or you're signing some type of deal to yourself. Or it could be physically, okay? Some type of law that you're making for yourself. Let's see. What is the Two of Swords? I feel like you want to have a, a true commitment, though. This one wanted to fly out. Six of Swords for some reason, but we got Amun Ra right here, which is the Pharaoh card. So there is a lot of authority that is going to be needed. Like I said, we had um segment that came out so it's like the fire that's within you the passion the desire with him holding on to that scepter right there and also holding on to the unk you always make sure that your heart is still open but know that you can defeat whatever it is that would try to bind you by this um being represented uh, uh horus okay let's see what's best the king of swords exactly libra gemini aquarius you have a defense that is around you that is protecting you ready to go to battle for you ready to fight and to de defend this is ramses okay he don't care if he got two people behind him he gonna win okay <laughs> but you already got a backing you got your spirit team that's got you okay what's the four of scribes scarabs I don't know why I be saying scribes when they be scarabs, y'all. But y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so we got eight of scepters. I feel envy here because this is coming from people that already hold back their energy. Not only do they hold back their energy, but they want to start conflict and they want to start battles. They want to start problems with you because of what you're destined to do. Possibly you're destined to be a healer. Or you're destined to help other people. Someone is very envious and jealous that you have the ability to heal and to evolve. They probably go around telling people things. They probably try to spread a lot of things to try to get people on, people on their side. Because most people that do that, they're the ones that have the problem. Because why are you trying to get people on your side if you're the innocent party? <laughs> you're trying to make yourself innocent by recruiting others. But that's what this person does. What's the two acceptors? You don't even care. Like they, they trying to come, look, you up there, you're inside of this thing right here. So they're down there trying to come up towards where you're at. You're at a castle looking beyond the castle at something else. They trying to get to the castle. They don't even have their own castle, okay? <laughs> What's the two acceptors? Look at that. Ace of Scarabs. You got a total new beginning coming. Capra. Look at that. Ten of Scarabs. This can't get no better than that. This is generational wealth, abundance, prosperity. That's right ahead of you. That's what you're looking at. That's what you want now. It's like, I got the castle, but I want more. Because why not? My ancestors put in enough work. Why can't I? Who are you collecting? I feel you. I feel you. Okay. What's the what's the shine around the nudes? A deceptors. You got a lot of people that are talking about what it is that you're doing because they have never seen this before. You know what I'm saying? People get having get togethers. You got people confused. <laughs> they like, we not doing something right because whatever they over there doing by themselves, they're doing better than we are as a group. There might be three people or more. Okay. It could be six, but I'm seeing three people. 
they've come off as happy and they partying and they going out and they having a good time but behind the scenes they can't work together these people if it, if they was having a good time and working together it would be like this no they can't work together so you're on the right side of the wheel and it looks like someone else is on the opposite side of the wheel let's get you a shamanic drum awaken past life recollections awaken through the beat of the drum walk to the beat of your own drum a healing occurs using a shamanic drum shamanic journeying to the beat of the drum enhances your spiritual insight and connection and then we got not only got the drum but you got the rattle to <laughs> disperse so you need to awaken and you need to disperse any type of tricksters that might be coming into your energy field at this moment because you're blossoming right now, okay? So that is what I have for you, Virgo. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell. Definitely appreciate the energy exchange. And I will talk to you guys later. Deuces.